Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new video. Today, we are. Go I'm going to be finally reviewing Assassin's Creed. I actually saw uh, the emo the movie. I saw the movie actually a couple weeks ago. I haven't review. I the only reason this review is just I'm just now reviewing because I haven't found the time to play some Assassin's Creed Syndicate for the footage of the video that you are currently watching. As I am slowly waiting for this one. Two, there we go. Bye, Felicia. And speaking about Felicia, today is New Year's Eve, everyone. So this finally, this wretched year of 2016 is finally over. All I gotta say is, but 2016, bye, Felicia. <laughs> All right, let's get to the review itself. Um, uh, first thing I gotta say is, if you got, if you haven't seen the movie yet, uh, don't listen to the critics. I recommend it. Yes, I know this movie's kind of divisive by critics and fans. Some fans say that the movie was great. Others fans say the movie was terrible. But this is what I can see. If you enjoyed the modern day for Assassin's Creed, you know when the modern day was actually good. You know when uh, Desmond was a focus in AC1, 2, Brotherhood, Revelations, and 3. Then you will enjoy this movie. Like me. Because I most people I've seen, that the, most of the fans from a couple of reviews I have seen from the fans, they say they didn't like it like uh, Jeremy Jones, I believe. Jerry Jones review, he said that he, because the movie primarily focuses on the modern day, you only go really to the ancestor parts and the, the Spanish Inquisition about four times in the movie, about four times, really, which is kind of, and also one more thing, the leap of faith, you know, it's in all the trailers, they cut it, How, no, not, they don't cut the clip itself, it's in there, but they don't show the whole leap of faith, so the, and, so no, so no one lands in a bale of hay, a bell egg does make an appearance in the movie, though, as well as the Animus 2.0, if you look here in the actual room where the Animus is. If you look hard enough, you can actually see the Animus 2.0 just chilling. Nice little reference to the game. But someone does that in a bale of hay, but it's not a leaf face. I was kind of disappointed that I saw when the leaf face happened, they were like, they were, they didn't land in a bale of hay. That kind of sucked. I was like, oh, come on! It's Assassin's Creed! Give me bales of hay! That's trademark AC! Anywho. So, Michael Fassbender's character, um, Klein, I believe his name was, I think, uh, wait, hold, let me look it up real quick. Uh, yeah, it's, yeah, Cal. So, yeah, which is, uh, previously, in, by the way, this game, which was, um, guy that was on death row, and that was, like, killed, that was supposedly dead, killed, uh, via the death penalty, and then... So yeah, he was then I take it to Abstergo to use the animus, blah 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 blah, you know. This plot actually reminded me a lot of the first AC game where Desmond Miles, I well, I don't remember much from that original game's plot because I haven't played that game in years. It has to go to the same way like Desmond was kidnapped from uh, like his normal job, which was he was a bartender beforehand, trying to like escape his past, I think. I think he was escaping his past as well, like Cal is was, like escaping the past that he was an assassin or whatever. I don't think they even wait. No, I don't think they even knew they were, they were assassins. Now I think about it. I don't know. I haven't played the first AC in a while. So same way, he gets taken by Abstergo, and they and they force him to put in the machine. Blah blah blah. blah. Y'all know the plot. And actually, the um girl that um, excuse me. Actually, the um the girl that's in the trail is the one that's helped. That's the one that's looking over. Uh, Cal is in the Animus reminds me a lot of Lucy from the first from you know the Assassin's Creed series. Um, so, yeah. So, by the way, all the characters in the movie were pretty good. Um, Michael Fassbender was amazing. Um, all the other characters. Alfred from Batman v Superman, I can't remember the, I can't remember the actor's name. Wait, actually, hold up. Um, Jeremy Irons, yeah. Jeremy Irons, he was good as well. As well as all the other characters in the movie. Um, Yeah. Well, okay, so yeah, the modern day was pretty good. If you enjoy the modern day, you'll enjoy this movie. So, okay, now let's get to the... When, now, when they're actually in... When he's actually in the Animus, it's amazing. It's just... Uh, it's so nice to see Assassin's Creed in live action. Just seeing, like, seeing the leap of faith in the live action was pretty cool, along with all the fight scenes. It was pretty good. I highly recommend... I would highly... <clears throat> if you are a fan of Assassin's Creed, you haven't watched the movie yet, watch it. I, rec I recommend it, but be warned that this movie does primarily focus on the modern day. Just, just like keep that in mind if you haven't seen the movie yet and you plan on seeing it. I recommend it. Final verdict for wait, is there anything I didn't mention? Um, 
yeah, the modern day was pretty good. If you enjoyed it, you'll probably enjoy it. Um, when they were in the past uh, with the ancestor, that was great. And actually, one thing that actually was cool, when they're, when they're actually in the animus, they all speak Spanish. At least I'm guessing it's Spanish. At least I'm guessing it's Spanish. Because this takes place in the Spanish Inquisition, so Spain and Spanish, which is something nice like the first AC game didn't do, because that, cause that took place during the, um, uh, the 13... The Third Crusades, yeah, and none of the characters, and all the characters have Ameri are Americans. So yeah, that's like a nice, a nice little touch Ubisoft did. I hope this movie, and I, and I, and I really hope this movie does well, just so we can get, because they already, because Ubisoft plans to do two more sequels for Assassin's Creed if this movie does well, which I hope happens, and if that happens, we can get other AC, we can get other Ubisoft property movies like say Watch Dogs, Rainbow Six, Ghost Recon, The Division. Watchdog, Splinter Cell, Prince of Persia. Yeah, yeah, remember Prince of Persia Sands of Time? Uh, Disney, you screwed that one up. Uh, but anywho, so yeah, I recommend the movie. You should, um, the music was pretty good. The action was pretty good. The characters were good. Because I seen all the Assassin's Creed gadgets in the movie, like the smoke bombs, the, the hidden blades and such. It was nice seeing it. Um, yeah, so, final verdict for AC would be a, I'd give it about a 9 out of 10. I would, I, I, I thoroughly enjoyed it. I very much thoroughly enjoyed that movie. I recommend it, guys. And if you want, I mean, here's what I think about the Animus. I think the Animus is fine. I do find it weird that it's kind of like a crane and with like projection so everyone else can see what's going on. I don't mind it like other people do. I don't mind the animus. Yes, I do kind of prefer like the the chair thing that was in the games, but I don't really mind this about this. <clears throat> I don't really mind but the about I don't mind the animus in this movie. So yeah. If you haven't seen the movie, go watch if you're an AC fan. I recommend it. Final verdict for it would be a 9 out of 10. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Subscribe, like, Share all that crap, and I'll see you monsters next time.